Oh my gosh. Okay. Y'all, I wanted to record that entire thing so y'all could see in case you've never seen how long. Oh, I don't want to forget my, my bludgeoning stick. I wanted to show you all that whole entire thing because I didn't know if everyone has seen how long an actual train is. Because they get pretty, they get pretty long. Um, I'm not homeless anymore. <laughs> if anyone was wondering, I'm in Independence, staying with family. Um, weird. Um, so yeah, I'm just. It's a beautiful day outside, and I'm just exploring the train tracks because that's where all the cool shit happens. Y'all ever seen uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I'm talking like the original one with Casey Jones and Splinter. You know how like there's an underground homeless society? I want to go there. And I know they exist. Ah! I want to find it. Actually, they might not exist because cops suck. And they take everyone's fun every away. But if it does exist, I will find it. You better believe it. Because that is so fun. Y'all, here's the thing. Homelessness is not that bad. Or should I say... Should I say... Being without a home is not that bad. Because... Homelessness entails a whole bunch of shite that people love to preconceive and assume. Like, oh, if you're homeless, you must be on drugs. Oh, if you're homeless, you must be this. Oh, if you're homeless, you must have fucked up your life so bad. And your life just sucks. That's not always the case. You know, I've met a lot of people who are just unfortunate in life. And who have been dealt a crappy hand. And it is what it is. But, you know what I've also noticed? Those very same people have more faith and more grace and more love in their hearts than anyone who I have ever met that has a house and has all this shit, has all of this material possessions. And don't get me wrong out here, I'm not about to be like Buddha and say like, I shall not have material wealth. No. Because Christ doesn't even say that. <clears throat> um, what I am saying is that in order to unlock certain virtues, I do think you have to experience what it is like to have nothing. And whatever that means. If that means material nothing, or if that means spiritual nothing, or physical nothing, you have to experience in one way or another what it means to have absolutely nothing in order to gain everything. Y'all, there's so much truth in that. And if you've ever seen Dune, and which I know everybody has because it's an amazing movie. You know how, like, all the power in the universe is contained in, like, a little tiny mouse? Yeah, that's very truthful, too, and very significant because Christ teaches that the greatest among you is the least among you. And so, <clears throat> when all the power in the universe in Dune is contained in this tiny little mouse. What's the, what, why the hell would the author do that? What's the significance of that? Well, it could be that he understood the very, very simple truth that the greatest among you is the least among you. And that is the lesson for today, my friends. That is your railroad sermon. So I hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, your boy didn't go anywhere. He's just been taking some time off and enjoying himself because this is the kind of stuff I like to do the vagabond lifestyle is very very uh, I'm drawn to it I, I don't know it's like me and the vagabond are one <laughs> and if you want to know more on how I feel about it go listen to um, Wherever I May Roam by Metallica do it now love you